thank you everyone for hanging out with us and waiting a few minutes. We are a little bit late today, but better late than never. Okay, we can see it now. Shafakat, it's okay, uh, okay. nice and clear. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> let's go. Fantastic. Uh, first of all, uh, I would uh, uh, like to introduce myself. My name is Shafakat and uh, I'm from Pakistan. And uh, today I will talk on Google Doc. Uh, the simple name, we call it Google Doc, but uh, Google Doc is a Google hacking database. Uh, um, I will taught you, I will uh, express my ideas and uh, my knowledge regarding this hacking techniques used by, uh, by the security researchers and hackers to get the fruitful data. And uh, also I will uh, I will show you all how how we all are vulnerable and uh, how can we protect our data uh, to be uh, uh, to be a, an illegitimate user cannot use it or even find it that a hacker cannot uh, uh, reach on that data. But the Google, what the Google is doing, and let's I will uh, I will present uh, presentation. Uh, very shortly because we already uh, uh, a little late. I will go through, I will uh, practically show you how we can get into a user data uh, in front of you. I will uh, show you Perfect. Uh, some Perfect. elementally. And, and uh, Shafaka, don't worry if, um, you know, if, if you need the full, if you need the full hour to cover the material, um, we can always extend a few minutes. I know some students, if they have other commitments, they might log off, but usually most of our students can stay on. So if, if, you know, if you need an extra few minutes, that, that should be fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I, uh, as uh, some, some students are from, uh, if they are from pro programming language, programming a background, and uh, they know that uh, we use queries and uh, uses of queries helpful for us how to how to get the data from the database and how to uh, how to get the data from any any even file system or any other uh, even from the file search system we can get the data and how we can get data we just write on the search button or we just write a query and uh, and the query do it for us and in the google uh, we write something in that specific uh, um, text box. Uh, for example, Google, uh, we search uh, laptop, then uh, how the Google uh, backend works and how it fetch the data and shows it, uh, that, is, uh, that is a uh, very long topic or very hard topic to just, uh, show off, but how we can use how how uh, a hacker uses our to get our legitimate data, our confidential and private data. <clears throat> Let it. I will explain you. And uh, why we why use uh, doc? Doc is doc is just like the queries. These are the queries and that attacks malicious uh, attacks google uh, hackers use them and, and docs also used to find um, uh, websites if we have certain flaws in the vulnerabilities and sensitive information that that is used to be exploited using that docker and uh, uh, i already explained that docker is something accurate accurate entertained by the google systems so security companies by docking the better understanding how something might be cooperate hacking the system and, and companies might use Google Docs to find information that can be uh, to get the SEO and uh, uh, get the performance of marketing strategy to get uh, uh, even marketers find which is the best keywords. Google find it. Uh, Google have the rating of that specific keyword uh, that can uh, increase their marketing values. So they first search using the Google Doc, and after that they they 
they used that specific term, that specific strings, and that specific uh, words in their websites or in their channels or etc. So the Google, when Google searching for them, and they come on the top. And using Google hackers helps uh, companies to uh, exactly what kind of information other wants. I will explain uh, in in uh, upcoming slides. Uh, uh, Google Doc can uncover all kind of hidden information. Uh, all kind of hidden information on the Google. Uh, you uh, you okay. You people will get that uh, um, that presentation. After that, even. And this uh, video and presentation will be shared by uh, by the uh, my co-host uh, Sarikur. Uh, uh, so don't uh, no need to take snapshots or something. Uh, you will got it. Okay. Uh, with docs, there is no Google hacking course to learn hacking uh, and nothing to learn. Nothing to learn. Just to practice how to get into how to get and uh, no social engineering and other important understandings how we can understand your own digitally identity and strengthen our online security the most important thing is that how can we avoid to get into that slot where the google gets your uh, confidential and private data and show it to any hacker or show it to any uh, illegitimate user and so uh, we will discuss it for first i will show you i will tell you what are the commands that are being used by the uh, by the googles like uh, site if i want to search something specific from a site i will write in the google site and colon and after that i i will uh, write the keyword of that site the detail of that site will be come in front of me same with the with the in title in url if i want to find some specific url uh, for example if I, I want to search on facebook uh, mr ricardo i will write down there in url colon facebook uh, in quotation marks uh, ricardo and uh, not only one person uh, even if he has made some pages or some other information related to uh, specific that will be available over there. I will show it. And the file system, I want to, I want to, okay, that is very useful. That is also, we can use it for, uh, for our purposes. That is very useful for the students. See if a student want uh, something, uh, um, PDF, I want a book, I want a book that uh, should be in PDF. So I will write down um, a doc in searching in Google with the file type colon, with the type, whatever I want. I, for example, I want a PDF. I will write down file type colon PDF. And then I will write whatever uh, Google <coughs> hacking database. Then I will go the PDF, all related PDFs regarding that specific topic. Fantastic. Uh, Siddiq, this, these are excellent uh, tips because a lot of times we are visiting websites and we're looking for content. Some <laughs> websites don't have a good search tool inside of their inside of their website. You know, sometimes you search for something and, you know, you go to a website for a company and you look for a search bar and it either doesn't work or they don't have it. Now with this option where you do site and then you put the command, even if that website doesn't have a search, you'll be able to look through everything that Google has indexed. So that's a very useful tool. And if you're doing yeah. like a research yeah. paper, you can look for PDFs. So that's more useful versus, you know, if you're researching something, you may, may want to get something that you can download as a PDF for reading later. So that's really good. Yes, not only the PDF, if someone has made some, some experiments and, uh, uh, <clears throat> he has kept it uh, on uh, online systems and even we doesn't know the path. We just write down, for example, uh, uh, that, that the extension of that specific uh, uh, path is your, uh, the extension of that specific file is uh, .swt and we search it and we find all the SWT files available on the Google 
uh, and you can find it even you can download it uh, <clears throat> and if we get into some uh, more details of these some advanced levels these are the cache your search can let you see older versions of the website or access that files recently have been removed type entering small thing like cache twitter harry and then you will what what whatever you know or you got even tweet has been deleted they will be available and uh, ftp file transfer protocol these are the these are the paradise for the hackers file transfer protocol if somewhere the file transfer protocol is available at any system or any server you can get into that system i will show you now using the google doc uh, <clears throat> we can search the log we can search anything <laughs> whatever we want so uh, if we how to protect against google docking that is very important for uh, a common user uh, because uh, on one side we are unprotected and the other side we should want to protect our data also so uh, we should use strong and unique password uh, on every online platform we should use strong unique passwords unique mean that your password should not be matched with the other passwords we can for a policy making or security policy we can say oh same password for all but uh, but uh, if your same password is vulnerable if someone got one if he can access anything using that password and uh, uh, we have to run the vulnerability scan on our system and uh, using different types of tools the these are available. So uh, use Google Search Console to remove sensitive pages from the public search. Uh, sometimes these are some advanced level and that we are so much conscious that people doesn't know about uh, uh, our privacy. So we can use it and search it and delete it. I run on the Google Doc. I, I remember, I, I remember, uh, I, I search my, paper and my paper was not published yet. That is a very interesting story. Uh, I was uh, publishing a paper in some journal and that was not published yet, but uh, uh, I was searching using that Docker. And when I searched that specific heading, whatever I have decided to uh, publish the paper and I found my paper was available online. Someone wow. has uh, with Small, you so someone has with some uh, you can say a small town, he has uh, uh, put it on uh, a freeware, uh, uh, freeware PDF site, and knowledge is available, something like, um, and uh, even that was very, very <laughs> sensitive wow. for me because I have to send it. And uh, well, no, it can... becomes a it becomes a debate. You know, who really did it first? Was it this other person? Was it you? Uh, it becomes a problem. <laughs> yes, I'm much more conscious. Even then, I have I have uh, two days ago I found that someone uh, has uh, get into my Google Chrome, and uh, in and uh, using my screen. Uh, I am much more conscious. Even then, I know that when I know that, I was very surprised at how how can one can get into that. Uh, although I have to check all the settings and everything, and all the remedy action I have taken that, but uh, a common user is very vulnerable. These all things, they are nothing. If, uh, professor, okay. professor, one question. Um, what I've, as you've been presenting this, I tried the cache twitter.com slash Harry, and I got deleted tweets from that user. And then I tried uh, cache colon twitter.com slash Elon, you know, hoping to get Elon Musk's deleted tweets. And I did have, I'm looking at them. I don't know if that's the user. I have to look up Elon Musk's actual user uh, just out of curiosity. I hope everyone can try these at home 
uh, or as you're watching this at work, uh, because once you use it once, I think you'll remember to use it over and over again. Um, would it be okay, uh, Professor, to to uh, let a, let some questions from uh, students? Uh, just wait on just wait on sir. Uh, okay. Uh, one to two minutes more. Then Perfect. I will I will show you a beautiful thing. I will show you. Then we will get into uh, all the questions of my fellows. fantastic. Uh, okay, see, and uh, finally uh, we have to use some antiviruses and some softwares and uh, if if i am the system administrator and i'm running the uh, some web server i will use the robot dot text file in in my web application these are some advanced level things so no one can get into that so uh, after that these are the two examples i would like you all to uh, visit these websites and you will got more and more information regarding Google hacking database and my uh, uh, practically whatever I want to show you I will show you how to use them and how we can get into this uh, uh, if anybody have any question please so we can get into some practical phase then okay perfect uh, I see the first hand is Mijosola Esther, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Prof. Good afternoon. Okay, so a few questions. And um, how do I, okay, so I observe that um, my credit card, um, I just I just get some, some payments that I don't know anything about. A lot of times they send you OTP, and I'm like, I'm getting confused. And so my question is, how can I clean up my credit card wherever wherever it is, wherever the, 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 the details are? How can I clean it up from the net? That is one. Number two is, how do I clear cookies on my system? Just clear out all these cookies because a lot of them on the system, on my system, on my phone, and they're just there gathering information. What for? I don't know. <laughs> then how do I um, how do I uh, do perform a Google Doc on myself so that I see what information is out there about me? Okay. And my last question is how do I recover a lost file? Because that happened to me. I was writing my uh, one of my research papers, I don't know what happened. I just lost, and I've, I've spent about like a month you know, oh. writing the research paper. And I came back, I won't lie to you, I wept like a baby. I, I, I was almost running mad because I've spent a month writing, collecting data, reviewing articles, and that was it. So I had to somewhat start all over again, but it was never as strong as the first one I wrote. So how can I, if that ever happened again, I don't pray it happens again because it's, 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 it's madness. I don't pray it happens again. If it ever happens, how can I recover those files? Thank you. Okay, you have four questions. Uh, first one is, uh, uh, how, can, how can we delete our, uh, how can we get in, and how can our credit card information, our credit card information saved on both ends. One end is at uh, uh, the user end. You can say um, where, uh, for example, I want to buy something and at that specific site, they say, do you want to uh, keep your uh, uh, credit card information saved with us so that in future you shouldn't Worry to write again this thing. That is, that is the far end, and one is your local end. So I recommend never ever try to give information to the far end. Okay, far end never don't no need to save the information of your credit card 
at the foreign that keep your credit card and after that uh, after one month renewal credit card automatically transfer your information and uh, and uh, transaction happen one thing second whatever your case is that someone is sending the otp otp mean you know that, that your credit card information is successfully passed on and after that you have been provided with otp to uh, get into that transaction your information is being stolen by your systems whatever those system your computer or your mobile system your uh, your system uh, that information has been taken away or maybe that is available in your system at runtime they pick it and send it to some uh, some payment hub where uh, your it, uh, otp has been generated uh, okay so how can you get uh, uh, overcome that you have to go into the google and uh, what i am this let's see Second, your question was about cookies, and uh, if <coughs> sorry, cookies. If you want to delete cookies, you have to uh, you have to go there on the top, and you can see cookies. Here's an option, and from here you can remove it. Okay. I have removed the cookie for that specific site, the google.com. And after that, the cookie is for that specific. And that is also available in the temp folder uh, with the uh, users, <coughs> you know, with the user uh, data folder, temp folder. You can uh, delete it from there. But the best one is you have to delete cookies from here. Okay, and the third one, your question was uh, uh, that you lost the data, I think. You lost the data and uh, how uh, you want to get that data back. Many softwares are available in the market and uh, uh, I will present a lecture on this also because most of the time people uh, losses, losses data and uh, even they, Got some paid softwares. I, I will uh, I will show you uh, some uh, freeware that your data can you can get back your data. And but uh, some softwares are available in the market from where you can get your uh, lost data. Even if you have formatted your disk, then even then you can get that data. And uh, on data. I would recommend that if your computer, if you are, if your computer is not working, keep your hard disk safe. You remove your hard disk and keep it in your custody, and never try to give your hard disk to uh, along with the computer to the scrap yard or scrapper that take it to away. And, and let's uh, fourth one. Your question was uh, how we can use uh, Google uh, database. That is the practical. We will get into it after a question from Mr. Blova. Hello, Prof. Please, I didn't get um, your explanation on how to clear my, my credit card information. Because again, for school, uh, AIU, I have to you know, put in my, my, my credit card for my, for my school fees deduction. I don't ever save my my credit card on any site. I don't make that mistake, but I'm having all these these on these deductions I know nothing about. But for school, for AIU, I have to save my. Except, um, Mr. Ricardo, can you give more insight into that? Because I have to save the, my debt, my my credit card on my payment on my student portal. Yes. for them to be able to deduct my school fees monthly yes um, if in i our don't case, i will have problem yeah in in our you case are, you are please yeah no i was just going to say you that in, in right. our case 
we have um, obviously a secure platform. We follow the protocols for encryption keys and for making any credit card information that you enter. From the time that you entered on the AIU website, it is automatically encrypted before it is sent out to our server. So as the data is sent to the server, it is encrypted. So if somebody intercepts it in the internet, they would not be able to uh, decode the data. Once it arrives to the database of AIU, we have the key uh, with the merchant bank that can decrypt the data that you submitted on the website. So that key is what allows us to decrypt your data. Once the data is decrypted, then uh, the merchant, which is kind of like the bank, can then process the transaction that you're trying to, to do if you're trying to pay like a tuition payment. Um, after that, your credit card is no longer saved at AIU. It is uh, the only the last four digits are saved. The rest of the data is encrypted, so we would not be able to see it. The only entity that sees the full credit card is the merchant bank. Um, and uh, and if some of our students yeah, do automatically, right, yeah, go ahead. Sir, you are very right. These, these things are not being done by the legitimate, uh, uh, legitimate, uh, whatever we can say, the companies. And these are done by some uh, some companies. And nothing. Not only this thing. Uh, I got a chance uh, to get uh, get an investigation of uh, like this type of uh, problem the card information was stolen and uh, what he has did the user uh, on the sitting on a table or uh, in a hotel and they got a snapshot they got a picture and uh, from that zooming that picture the front information was available credit card front information was available. At yes, some also, they, they managed to get other information. So it's a very, very, well, whatever we can say. Uh, yes, is, also there's skimmers. Uh, uh, there's something called yes. skimmers. So if you go to a store, for example, let's say you go to a store and you physically enter your card to make a payment, some yes. people or some stores have put something on top of that machine that reads the card. So in other words, under the skimmer is the real merchant card, you know, reader for making the payment. But on top of it, they put like another one that also reads the card and then they save the card information. So every time you use your card physically, there's a slight risk that someone might do that. Now, once your card is compromised, there's only one way to fix it. You have to get a new credit card. You have okay. to cancel it Very and, Very and request your bank to give you another one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank uh, you very much. Um, yes. Oh, oh, Olawa, please. Um, you've been waiting patiently. Um, hopefully it's not, it's a little short so we can cover all the material that uh, Professor Siddiq has for us today. Uh, should Olawa? Should I, uh, Go ahead, Bolawa. Hi. Oui. Okay. Uh, Favor, you know, I don't know if it's your internet connection. Uh, if you can, please type in your question because we could not hear it at all. It was very like broken up, but type in your question in the comments, please. Okay, sir, uh, I think we should, uh, we should go ahead. Yes, please. Um, yes, um, uh, problem. I have a click over here. The Docker, uh, Docker search speed up your Google docking. And in browser, this website has been opened. Okay. And after that, uh, I write over here, 
see a camera. What I have written over here, camera. And uh, Google and that site give me a list of dockers that can be used. I select one and go into search. And on the Google, I got this result. You can so in title, colon, access this camera, server, index, server push minus minus help. That is the PDF that is no. Uh, uh, I'm doing the same. I'm doing the that, same search you're doing to to check it out. I hope okay. everybody. Okay, I hope okay. everybody's trying it too. That is not helpful for us. I write over here live camera. Let's see. I got some fruitful information. It's showing. You can yeah, see that. Is, yeah, basically, uh, people who have a home camera, if they haven't secured it, it would be publicly available here, theoretically. Yes. Yes. Right. And you you can see uh, on the third, uh, we got the IP address of that specific uh, uh, camera 9762. And uh, when I click it, and you can see. Wow. A dog is, oh my God. Yes, and, that, and the then camera they, inside some house. Of course, and if you have the IP address, then you might also have the location. So very, very not dangerous. On, sir, not only location, but you can configure it and, and run port forwarding. You can send all the time that uh, result of that camera to your some private uh, uh, repository. You can put it at, uh, uh, you uh, copy that full whatever we can say video uh, all the time to your uh, systems and that is in front of you and even setting these all the things that is the webcam someone has put it in his house and just i got that ip if you want uh, you, you you that is visible to you and you can uh, got that ip and you get into that and uh, from where i got it google give it to me and Google give it to me with no any typo. That is the things the hackers use. They get into your, uh, they get into your house. They got the uh, your uh, what can we say um, your private videos, and after that you can know everything. So wow. how? Wow, how very interesting. Yes. How to prevent it? There main main everybody. How to prevent? We should uh, lock it. We should keep a password over there. Whenever, whatever. Uh, we got some. Whenever we got a new camera or new configuration, although we don't doesn't know, even then we should read it manual. It's manual and got some. Uh, what we can say got some uh, password on that that is the cisco and you can see the second one uh, i think i am the lucky one should i <laughs> i touch the second one that is also available and that is uh, where you can uh, you can see time is also available on that and all the information if we, even we can configure it so wow. that was just what I, I have written at that specific site okay, that gives me uh, give me the information regarding cameras, the open cameras that are available, that even some cameras, even on some cameras password, these are the password protected and how the hacker gets into that and uh, that they search on the Google. You know, Google is, doing what what for us 
they search on the google what a default password no. for, for what what is the camera that is w link. v oh link. okay right oh, or linksys linksys link oh, and the default password for uh, for cisco camera this whatever the camera is and uh, we got we got the default password. What is Cisco? Cisco. And the username is Cisco. If someone use the default username and password, Google gives it. Most likely 30% of users or more have the default password and never change it. So yes. Yeah. So yeah. And that was and that was uh, uh, about the camera. Let's get into some uh, some of our research technologies that uh, if I am researching on some specific field and I want to get information regarding to get PDF files, oh no, PDF, let's go to pictures. Uh, PDF can be searched by anybody. Uh, um, <clears throat> Most of the time we use pick. So, uh, that is in URL picture PHP. That PHP page will be displayed in front of us uh, and see. Here we can see uh, more, more, more pictures and what uh, uh, more information regarding uh, people, personal picture also might be available over there. Uh, I'm not going to this. I am trying to get some more information for you. And uh, FTP file transfer. Wow, that's the, most, to... that's the most dangerous one you said. Yes. yes. <laughs> file transfer protocol. Uh, and sorry, I, I didn't. Uh, I. <clears throat> Yes, file file type URL file is this that that in URL FTP. Okay. <laughs> if I got some IP, then I will show you that we will get into some system. Uh, without using any password or, but luckily I didn't get some, maybe. But using this file transfer, we can get the data and even get other information, even put information or data into that server. We can keep it. If I want to search some softwares, that is where we always try to search some softwares. And if I want to try, I didn't got some juicy information, but we can got uh, these information from here using the Google Doc. And, uh, and this site is very helpful for us to uh, got all the information. I have shown you the camera, I have shown you the pictures and uh, other things. Uh, you people can use it for your research purpose. You people can use it uh, for getting uh, your fruitful information. Uh, for example, this is the file type is PDF and I want uh, something, the information uh, related to, related to, you can amend it.
<coughs> you can get all all the file type with it which has pdf you can see over here pdf that 2021 hiker report or pdf this is the pdf file and that is also the pdf 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 so if you want to get the pdf files of that specific thing you can get you can write this into the google file type colon pdf in quotation mark and uh, whatever you want to search that that search will be come with the name of that specific file if you want to search some text you can uh, write over here in line in line in url and these drives so all the dockers are available i have uh, already included in that presentation and let me show you one to two minutes uh, to Google Hacking Database uh, Exploit DB website. That is also very uh, good website that gives healthy information. That goes. Okay, we can find it over from the Okay, you can see that website that shows the Google hacking database and all the docs are available in the list. You can see in URL, the index of uh, URL, WPJSON, and uh, uh, even some configurations files if you want to search, you can, uh, you can click over there and you will uh, proceed towards uh, Google website and that will show you uh, all the information so using these types of uh, using these types of all the google docs we can got the fruitful information that is very uh, helpful for our uh, study purpose and research purposes any question please yes um please keep the questions specific to what the presenter has mentioned i know I know a lot of questions come up that are related to it, but let's keep the questions focused on what mm -hmm. Professor Siddiq so far has uh, shared with us. Please, Prof, how did you get to this page? Um, check the link in the comments, uh, Esther. I shared it. It is called uh, exploit-db. I put it at 1032, so I put it in 20 okay. minutes ago the link let me Thank let me you. put it again sure okay okay there you go okay thank you you my pleasure favor do you want to try your audio once again Okay, so Favor had some very good questions. Um, I replied to the group. He asked how to secure a website. So uh, I, I, uh, I shared some specific tools and actions that you can take, not related to today's presentation, but a good question nonetheless. Also about SEO. So shared a lot of information about that on the chat as well. Does anybody have a question about using the Docker um, uh, or anything specific that uh, we saw today. Uh, to me, it was very eye-opening to be able to see actual video and pictures of users, to actually see deleted tweets, 
Uh, I mean, a lot of these things, I can't, you know, we, we, we kind of talk about it, but today we actually see how easily it is for anybody uh, to access those things. Um, so it should make us uh, really uh, consider what we're doing. Uh, uh, whatever we can say, uh, we sign an NDA for their specific uh, presentations because uh, uh, these are very, uh, some you can use it uh, for, uh, on the other hand, purposes also. <laughs> So, um, but uh, whatever I have presented, that is very, very uh, informative information regarding Google Docker zone. Absolutely. Let me see. I think there was a few other questions. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, I'm reading through some of the comments. I don't have any specific questions. Um, oh. Okay. Um, well, is there is there anything else uh, you would like to 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 show us, um, Shafakat? Uh, I don't see any questions. Uh, favor. I don't know if you have a a question. I see your hand up. You're unmuted. Do you want to? Uh, to show off, uh, there are many things that we that we can explore. Uh, I have shared all the all the website links also from How about there. this? Uh, what, what would you like uh, Siddiq to, to try to search? Is there anybody who would like to search for themselves? <laughs> search uh, something in particular? Uh, why, don't we, why don't you show us the, the Twitter search? I want like to the, search the myself, please. I want to search myself. Uh, <laughs> sir, uh, uh, so I don't use Twitter, and uh, yes. they, because uh, um, many um, uh, your what can we see uh, your um, privacy goes off. Even uh, I share my confidential information myself. I have already told that uh, uh, I found a man. And just snapshot uh, of the uh, system and uh, find all the information of that specific user. So if these are all the technography is a thing that hide it inside that I uh, hide it inside a picture or uh, inside some some file legitimate file and that's technograph using that technography, uh, one to two KB script can transmit your all the data uh, from your systems to other system. Uh, I got a chance to uh, analyze uh, malware and uh, after 30 to 40 minutes, the malware behavior has been changed. That was sending data to that specific IP. And after 30 minutes, that uh, send, uh, start sending data to somewhere else. So, uh, 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 in the field of technology in this era, we, we are the more, more, uh, we should be careful all the things and uh, uh, searching as yourself, uh, you can write down over here on Facebook, Facebook. In URL Facebook, uh, in contact with the inline Facebook, and uh, our first question was uh, uh, Esther, uh, she was asking that uh, um, data has been stolen. And uh, in my, uh, near about seven, eight years ago, 
uh, I got an assignment from uh, my university that uh, make a website something like this that steal the data of the user. So what I, ha I have to, I just made a website, a clone of Facebook login page. And after getting the information of all the logins uh, that has been transferred to my server, I I forwarded that uh, I forwarded that request to legitimate Facebook uh, server, and uh, and then they tried to contact, and then the link has been established between that user and that uh, Facebook. So I was just a man in the middle, and I just uh, uh, get the credential information. And at that time, there was no 2F and 3F information available, bots and et cetera. So uh, very careful these things we have to be in this scenario. And sir, you can search it. Anybody want to get the information regarding this, you can search. And that is where you put website. That was coming to my knowledge just a few days ago. Fantastic. Um, well, I really appreciate uh, this information. I've personally started to use it during today's class, and uh, I've shared a lot of these links on the on on today's chat. Uh, so, if you're interested in trying these yourself, that's the whole idea of these live classes. These live classes are going to give you kind of like a window into a whole new area that you can now take what you've learned today. And after the class ends, continue, continue, you know, testing, exploring, learning. And this kind of gives you the, the, the beginnings of a long journey that you can continue andragogically, which is one of the main learning uh, methodologies that we practice here at AIU. So um, thank you for joining us today, Professor Siddiq. Um, it was extremely informative and uh, interesting to see uh, what you've shown us. And uh, I really hope that we all take better precautions and, uh, and go further into this, into, into this field, into these uh, uh, resources that you've provided to learn about vulnerabilities and to better protect ourselves. Did you got something <laughs> that that was I have uh, I have written your name over here. I am very fortunate because my name <laughs> my name is very common. <laughs> so, so I got I, all the information, yeah. and even I can I can assemble all the information, and yes. after that uh, I can use it to uh, exploit you also. Yes. Yes, I'm very fortunate because my name is very common, so it's hard for hackers to narrow me down. <laughs> but if you have a very unique name, you know, then you're, yes. you're more vulnerable. <laughs> yes. So thank you. Thank you very much, all the class. Yeah, thank you, Professor, for your lectures. It was really so amazing. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Duku. Thank you, Esther. Thank, thank you, Fla Favor. Acacio, Thank you. Acacio, you joined us very late. Did Thank you, you. Is it due uh, to the time difference, Acacio? I know a lot of our students are joining now. I see a lot of people joining. So <laughs> yes, it's because of the timing, request? Ricardo. Can it's because of request? the timing. Yes. I have a yes. Do, yes. Do, I suggest do, that the links that the, the links that posted yeah, on the chat, not, last... if you can really say uh, through email, I think it will be much better because that. Thing when we sign up, everything is going to disappear. Yes. So I guess that you can say, yeah. Yes, you're right. Um, yeah, we have to figure out how to copy maybe the, the chat uh, sure. and sure. save it. We're saving all of these in Merlin Media Center. So when you log into okay. your student section, you can go to Merlin Media Section. You can you can search for them because there's more okay. than like sixty there. Also, sure. if yeah. you go to the navigation on the left, it's called. Yeah. A AIU live class room, and you can see the past ones and you can see upcoming ones. So it helps you kind of, okay. you know, schedule okay. yourself. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yes. 
Duku, yes. thank you. Shafakat, Acacio, You're thank welcome. you very much. Acacio, you have your hand up. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, hello. yes, go ahead. Uh, hello? Yes, yes go please. ahead. Uh, uh, I want to, uh, yeah, I have some problem here. Yeah. When I want to practice the, the last class, sometimes, uh, I found uh, the, the the interference in my internet because we, I can't practice the last application that you you, you sent it to, to me because the the internet you said inter my internet is not a standard because of that I can uh, get all the information. Okay. But I don't um, know if sure. If, yeah. Um, if my 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 lens is private or or not. Um, if you're asking if you can watch the class because it was cut off part of it, yes. Um, we're posting them all to uh, the student section. Was that your question, or was it about something with your internet connection separately? But the problem is, is my my internet connection. Sometimes uh, uh, I, I receive the information the, by sense my 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 internet is private because of that I can get all access to some uh, uh, information. That, that oh yeah yeah I yeah. Have to connect yeah. with the go with the gold girl the gold the gold girl. Because I have to, I, I would like to protect the, some of the uh, personal information, like uh, my visa. But I don't know if that would be the problem. Uh, that would be the problem because my internet is protected. Yes, and I can get all information, uh, access of all that I want. You say to your internet is never protected. Um, that is. Uh, end-to-end <clears throat> -end encryption is possible, but uh, uh, we can say internet is not a protected thing. Uh, every data is visible uh, uh, at somehow data is uh, visible uh, on uh, less uh, efforts. And uh, if uh, uh, on the other hand, data is visible with, uh, uh, you can say um, a little efforts done, but the, but on the internet you are not uh, um, secure or whatever we can say. Uh, even your ISP can detect and check how many uh, how the data has been sent from this end your node to the other node. Uh, what what do you say, Barbara? Um, no, I mean, I, I didn't quite understand what the but issue was. The, um, yeah. It could be voice. So you can do a, a VPN, uh, like a, like change your IP address through a VPN uh, but, to, to access, you know, um, some content that you cannot access in your country. Uh, some countries are, they cannot access certain websites. So you can get around that by a VPN. Um, as far as the, uh, like a secure connection how do you secure your internet connection um the most common problem is wi-fi uh, if you have a a line connection to your router that's always secure unless someone has access to your home so assuming nobody has access to your home and you can connect the cable directly to your router uh, your internet should be secure however most people have wi-fi um, if you have wi-fi enabled wireless internet enabled in your home you have to have it properly secured and encrypted. Uh, it doesn't come secured normally out of the box when you turn on your wireless router. Uh, so you have to make sure that if you have a guest, if the guest can get into your internet without asking you for a password, you know you have a problem. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, so, um, I see a lot of people joining us now. Yes, I, I think this time difference has really caused a lot of confusion. In the, in the United States on Saturday, on Sunday, we spring forward because the United States still follows daylight savings time. So while the classes are still 10 a.m. 
and 3 p.m. Those are the two times we have the classes each day. For most, for a lot of the world, like half the world, they're actually one hour earlier. So even though we're having it at the same time in the United States, for a lot of the world that does not follow daylight savings, they're actually starting one hour early. So hopefully I can see like 15 people joined us just now. Please keep in mind this change. Uh, daylight savings is followed by the US, but in a lot of your countries, they do not follow that. So it's really one hour earlier than what we were doing it before, uh, if that's the case for you. But um, okay. thank you so much, Professor Siddiq, for this informative class. And don't worry, if you just joined us in the last 15 minutes, uh, I'm going to see if we can post this class in Merlin Media Center by the end of the day. We'll, we'll see. It, <laughs> it'll be a challenge, but at, hopefully we're trying to get this done within two days, maximum three days. Uh, so that if you miss a class, you can always join. Hi, Charles. Please join us. Join us one hour earlier because of daylight savings. <laughs> We've missed you the last few days. And a lot of you guys as well that I normally see you, Emmanuel, um, Sunil. So we're one hour early now because of daylight savings time. Same time in the US, but for you, it's an hour less. Thank you, everyone.